Evening guys, how are you all doing? It's Daniel from The Tool Room and tonight we are going to be looking at my brand shiny new tool bag. Let's get into that. So guys, this is my brand shiny new tool bag and this is the Velocity Rogue 4.5 backpack. And this is from Velocity Pro Gear. So I'd like to say a big thank you and a big shout out to Tony from Velocity Pro Gear for gifting me this bag. He sent it to me for review. So this is going to be brilliant. And what I'm going to be using this bag for personally is my service bag. Now, it's one of their smaller rucksacks. So basically, they've got a bigger backpack. And that is the Velocity Rogue 5. And this is this little brother, the 4.5. And, you know, first impressions, guys, let's be honest, it is an attractive little fella, isn't it? Let's just give you a little look around at that. It's a very handsome little fella. And it is an absolutely ideal size as well. Now, what can I say about this bag, guys? Where can I start off? Build quality. The build quality on this is second to none. Now, Velocity do um, two ranges of bags. They do their Raptor range, which is a sort of cheaper version of their bags, which is uh, more of a budget range. And they do these Rogue ranges. Now, the Rogue bags are just absolutely second to none. Uh, there's a massive range on their website, and I'll put details of links to this bag and links to their website and links to some of their other bags in the full description afterwards. If you have a look in the description, it'll all be there for you guys, and they'll pop up on the screen, and their website should be popping up on the screen now here as we speak. So check out the bags they've got, guys. There's some really, really nice bags for basically anything, any type of thing you want to do. They've got a bag for it. Um, and I'm sure some of you have seen um, the bags they do with PB Plumber. So they even work with engineers to design the bags they want. So that's how committed Velocity are to designing great bags. So if you're a tradesman or, you know, if you like to carry lots of tools around, check out the Velocity Pro Gear range. So there we go then. So this is mine, the Velocity Rogue 4.5. They let me choose the bag I wanted. This was the one I particularly wanted, which is really cool. Um, and let me show you some of the attributes of it. So, again, guys, the build quality on these is second to none. Really, really tough, strong, durable materials. The bag feels solid. It's, you know, it's got these thick, comfortable handles on it. It's padded at the back, um, so it's comfortable for your spine. And it is incredibly comfortable to wear. Now, I'm not coming to you now just showing you this bag and just saying, oh, it's this and that and the other, because I have been using this for a couple of weeks now, okay? And I've been using this day in, day out on every single job. And I do roughly about, you know, four or five jobs a day at least. And this has been with me the whole time. So, you know, I know what I'm talking about. It's incredibly comfortable. It's really, really nice to wear. It's solid and it's sturdy, okay? Um, and it's a really nice design. So let's start off with it then. Let's have a little look at it. Let's start from the front here. So firstly then... Now, obviously, as I said, it is a little bit dirty because I've been using it, but I wanted to show it to you empty first. And when I've shown it to you empty, what I'll do is I'll fill it up. I'll put my tools in it and I'll show you how I use it. And then, guys, you know, perhaps it'll give you an idea of how you want to use your bag. So, you know, it's it's just it's, you can use it any way you like, but I'll show you how I do it. But it's empty at the moment. So it's got. So as we open the first zips, let's just say it's got these YKK zips on it. Thick quality zips, as you can see, as close up of them, solid quality zips. And inside here, you've got this sort of soft shell, which is to protect your sort of valuable items. You could put, you know, you could put, uh, you know, your mobile phone in here, you know, anything you don't want to get broken. You could have a small meter in here, um, you know, so you, you could have anything you liked, really. Um, you know, you could have your, uh, you know, thermal sensors, distance measures, anything sort of small and electronic you want to put in here. And I remember when I first started calling in this, it, when I first started working in the show, we used to call stuff like this seal skin, didn't we? But it's neoprene is the technical name for it. But they're nice and stretchy, so you can fit lots of stuff in it. But it's also incredibly strong as well, okay? So that's what's really good about neoprene. It's really, really thick and durable and strong. And then in the front then, you've got a little bit of space so you can sort of put, you know, something up against that or whatever. You can see that they've designed it in a way that there's going to be, you know, plenty of room, plenty of room for your stuff. And, you know, they've, they've thought about it intelligently there. So, guys, we've got three features already. We've got the YKK zips. We've got the neoprene. And we've got now the fid locks. Okay. 
What is a fidlock, you may be wondering? Well, check this out, guys. Instead of clips, these are magnetic. Watch this, so I just leave those. Oh, look. He's done it all by himself. Let's just watch that again. He just basically, easy peasy, you just grab it, slide it out, simple as that. You let it go and put it somewhere near it, and bam, it just clips on. Same on this side, you just slide it out, and then bam, just clips together. And it's dead strong as well, so these will not come off, no matter what you do, unless you do it the right way and just push it to the side like that, and then it just clips together. Now, when you undo the fid locks, you've got this one-handedly, you've got this nice little pocket here as well. So you've got a bit of a hard shell here as well. This is quite sort of solid, so it's quite protective here. And you can keep stuff in here as well. So you can keep, you know, you can keep your documents, you can keep your manuals, your books, you could keep sort of loose tools in here. You could put, I suppose, if you wanted to, like a sort of um, a 12 volt impact in here or something as well. And then these are all adjustable here. So you can move these to different sizes to make it bigger or smaller, whatever you want to do. So you can have, if I put it like that, for example, you know, it'll give you sort of that much space. You've got quite a big, you know, my hand fits here quite easily. You've got quite a nice space to keep everything in. So, or if you want to sort of pull something a bit tighter and hold it in securely, you can pull these nice and tight and hold it nice and nice and flat and almost pull it together like that if you want to. So, another feature of this, you see this little British flag here. If you want to pay, I think it's about £10 of velocity, you can have your company label put on here. How cool is that? So, you can get rid of the British flag. They'll make you one up and send it to you. You send them the PDF or whatever file they ask for of your company label, or whatever you want to put on you, whether you want to put your name on you, if you want to put a picture or something, whatever you want to do, they'll put it on there for you. It'll come like this as well. It won't just be some naff sticker. It'll come like that, a proper edge thing, and you can just stick it onto your bag like that. And then you've got your company label and you can make your bag bespoke, basically. So that is something I've not seen any other company do. So that is pretty impressive. And it's just it's just thoughtful thinking, really, isn't it? Because if you leave your bag around, OK, firstly, you know, you've got your company name on it. Um, so, you know, it, you know, it's blatantly obvious if you're walking around with it that people aren't going to are going to know it's not yours if you've taken it and secondly it's just like by just by placing your tool bag around it's just a free bit of advertising for your, for your company isn't it so it's a good strong thing it's not going to fall off okay it's nice good strong velcro on there and like i say it's just a bit of advertising for your company as well so it's it's good thinking isn't it i think velocity think in a way you know they think in the mind of the tradesman what would the person using this bag want from it i bet you've got some nice sort of leather sort of i don't know if this is real leather or leatherette but you've got this nice leather sort of uh style material up here and you've got this nice sort of strong rubber now if you look at the stitching on this bag everything here is all double stitched it's all held together really really well it's all stitched into the integrity of the bag and it's a really really high quality durable water resistant material okay it's not fully waterproof if you if you leave it out in torrential rain you're just going to get wet but it's certainly water resistant this zip here this isn't for actually keeping anything this is this little party trick because if you come in here you've actually got a uni light and yeah, this isn't some cheap thing. This is actually a proper uni light, which fits into your bag. Um, and this is actually, you know, very, very useful, this uni light as well. You can turn it to wherever around you want, but that's the way it should fit in there, really. But it's incredibly useful. Then you just pop it in there. It stays where you put it. You zip it in, zip it up so it's secure. And then you've got, I won't blind you, but you've got a really bright light there. Then you can knock it down to a smaller light so it's not quite as bright then you can have a flashing light and then you can have it off okay now i found this really really useful already um and i'll give you an example i was in a shop the other day and i was doing emergency lights i had to do a three hour drop test on the emergency lights to discharge them and it, the, all the lights went out in the room and annoyingly the fire panel and the security alarm i had to work on they were all in that room as well so i popped that on you know and it lit up the room nicely for me it's rechargeable as well so you know you can do that with it and it's just a useful little light to have and then of course you can just turn the tool bag whichever way you want it to point the right way you could lean it back onto the floor so you've got a light that goes into the air really really useful guys so again intuitive thinking about the engineer who's going to use it okay so 
the first department compartment then is this so in here you've got lots of pockets for your tools and in these po in here you have this little clip as well and this basically clips on to here um which is i guess for on this little d-ring which i guess is for your excuse me doing things with one hand here which i guess is for your tape loop or something like that you can keep some tape on there hang some keys on there i guess whatever you want i suppose uh, just to keep it safe um up here you've got now i just want to point this out first you've got a hard back okay so this isn't soft and squidgy here this is a hard stand in the middle this is all hard it's all riveted it's all held together and can you see you know nothing's just clipped on is it it's all double stitched it's all stitched across each other see everything on it and it's riveted nicely okay and this back is a solid back so when you're putting your tools in you're not damaging your tool bag you're not wrecking everything you've got a big pocket along here which goes down to this line here okay so that's one big long pocket along here You've got these, again, little neoprene pockets here, which are good because they're stretchy and they pull tight. And I'll show you how I put them to use later. So you've got them, them, which are quite nice. Again, double stitched all along here, so it's nice. You've got, I guess, your pockets here for screwdrivers, for your... And these go, these go down to the bottom of the bag, okay? I guess these can be for, you know, perhaps your your voltage stick or something like that you can fit more than one screwdriver in each one of these but they're actually really solid these pockets they're not floppy as you can see even they are double stitched all nice and then you've got these two you've got one massive pocket here but what i'm trying to emphasize here is, is the thickness of these pockets the material used is incredibly thick so you know it's very very durable and it's got like this scratch resistant material inside and then if I can show you down there at the bottom, you have actually got a reasonable bit of room to keep anything you want to just shove down the bottom there as well. And I'll show you how to put that to good use in a bit. Front here, you've got, um, you've got this little section here, which, you know, you could put a, uh, a company ID or something in there. You could put your ECS card, um, you know, whatever you want really in there. And then you've got this really cool sort of, this isn't netted as such. This is a sort of, um, it's like a see-through pencil case. You can put sort of, you could put screws and fixings in there. You could put stickers in there. You could put, you know, a little manual in there. You could put small tools in there. And, you know, that's all zipped up as well. And the good thing about it is you can actually see what's in there as well. And it's a nice, again, rugged and durable material with a fair bit of give in it to the side. So, you know, you can pad it out a little bit. So plenty of room for tools there and what i like about this though is that you know okay i've said already you know don't fill it up to the brim so it's just gonna you know break um but you know you can fit a lot of tools in there but you know it's obvious that there's you know sections for the amount of tools you can fit in and i don't find i overload this bag stupidly like i did with all my other bags so every time i have other bags i just really overload them i make them far too heavy with this one i don't seem to find i do that so often so um yeah excuse the children leaving their toys around <laughs> um so yeah um that that is one really good thing about this bag which i like is that you know you do find that you know you don't tend to overload it quite as much and for me that's brilliant so that's really good to make it a perfect service bag. And you know that I have been on the hunt for the perfect service bag for quite some time. So she's all zipped back up. Now, let's go to the side of the bag. Now, again, it's got these neoprene style um, sort of loops at the side here. Very, very strong Velcro on them. Now, what I will use that for, to be honest, is a drinks bottle. Now, I don't think that's really what it's intended for. If you're a plumber or something, you could put your gas bottle in there or something. You could put your multi-tool in there. You know, there's lots of different things you can use that for, okay? So this is this is, this is really useful for that, okay? Um, and these can all be, you know, these can ad adapt to different sizes. I've carried my drill in this as well. If you just want to stick your combi drill on the side or your impact driver on the side, it's useful for that. You've got this strap on the bottom here, which is adjustable again. So you can change this to different sizes to accommodate whatever you want to carry around in there. And because it's a good stretchy material, you can actually put quite a few things in there. 
Um, again, I want to point out the rivets and the stitching on the side of this bag, the quality of the, the solidity of this bag. You've got a great big D-ring on the side there. Again, stitched solidly into the side of the bag, goes all the way down. Everything is stitched absolutely solidly, okay? You know, there's no compromise. Moving up, you've got, again, riveted and stitched into the side. You can see here how it comes down. It's not just all the way down. You can see it's this big, strong handle with a velocity label on the top there. Good, strong, rubberized handle with finger sort of, um, uh, sort of malleable into your fingers there. So it's nice and comfortable, riveting all across the top. Again, I think I've already mentioned that. And exactly the same down the other side. And let's just go to the other side while we're here then. We've got a nice big D-ring there. Again, stitch, 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 stitched into the framework of the bag. Here we've got another long neoprene pocket. Um, you know, you could keep, um, you know, a large screwdriver in there. You could keep, I don't know, whatever you wanted, really. And you've got some here, which is like, you know, you've got pen pockets here for whatever you want, or a screwdriver, or what have you. You can keep whatever you like in there. Moving to the back, we have these incredibly thick padded handles. Now, can I just show you them? Look at the thickness on that. Just look at it. You've got some high-vis strips down the front here, so if you're walking forward, you'll be reflective to cars going past. Um, big, strong, um, thick buckles there. Now, I have... Look at that. Look at that thickness. I have broken these before um, when I've uh, tightened a bag on my back, so that, for me, is very reassuring. Okay, and then you've got your chest strap buckle, again, across the front there. And again, this is quite elasticated. Um, so, you know, it stretches nicely across your chest and then you've got your sort of backbone style padding on the back there and it wobbles and it moves at the bottom as well. So it moves to the to the shape of whatever your spine is. So that's great. D-rings on the front as well. You know, whatever you want to hang on there, you know, you could be in, <laughs> you could hang, you know, an ID on there again. You could whatever you wanted, really, you could just hang on there, whatever takes your fancy. I don't use them myself. But, you know, it's, it's just something extra you've got that you can hang something on, you know, which saves you a hand, doesn't it? Now, again, fid locks on the back here. These are slightly different, though, these ones. What you do with these ones is you pull them down and they unle unlock like that, okay? And just like the others, they, again, just find themselves. They clip back together. So you pull them down, release, simple as that, and then find themselves. Brilliant. And then what that does, if we follow the structure up, it supports these straps, okay? So that means that all the weight isn't being taken along here. So it supports the traps, the straps to the structure, to the solid structure part of this bag here. So you've got support there and you've got support there in the back of the bag, okay? The other one, just the same. Again, it's got a the fid lock on it here and clips, just simple as that. And then again, just finds itself. Clip, ammo, okay. And you can see how, if I show you from the side there, how it supports the side of the bag there, okay. And again, stitched all nice in there, double stitch, double stitch, double stitch. And again, just look how thick those handles are. Lovely, lovely. Okay, right, so let's undo the fid locks then. Okay, and we pull these back here. And you have another big, thick, zipped back section as well. And this one, again, is designed completely differently to the front section, which makes it a really good all-purpose um, service bag. And in the back here, you've got this. So you've got another one of these great big pencil case style things, okay, which is really sort of solid. We've got some pen holders there. Um, you've got, let me just show you, it's a little bit dark. Um, bear with me one second. Let's light her up. There we go. We've got a clip down there which is ideal for uh, keeping a meter on or something, and that's a nice stretchy clip. You can see again, double stitching, double stitching, double stitching, solid back plate there, okay? Nice solid back plate there. So it's double stitching all the way. Um, we've got a little pocket there, okay? Which uh, has got the Velocity logo on, so there's a little sort of Velcro pocket there. Um, so, you know, plenty of room in there. And this is, and again, loads and loads of room on the back bottom there. And that's a solid plastic base there, okay? So no water's getting through that. So loads and loads of room on the bottom. If we turn it around again, we have the Velocity credentials on there again. And, you know, you can use that for whatever you want, obviously. Um, we have 
two big thick neos neoprene pockets here again i love these neoprene pockets they're just such a good idea for stretching and this one here we've got a great big pocket there now you're not going to get a laptop in there because it's only a small this is only a small backpack but it is for um easily would take a tablet and i'll show you what i use that for and you've got again a beautifully stitched leather style sort of uh vel velcro uh holder there you know even the fact that they just go to the effort this again is elasticated again they're thinking how the engineer would use the bag how big is it there we go how big's the thing they're putting in there useful for me i'll show you that in a bit um you know but they've just gone to the effort of just doing this haven't they you know and they've got these high contrast things around the pockets here and as you can see there it um you know it it's a nice big solid bag isn't it so it's a bit of a tardis of a bag now at the sides here you've got again you've got some velcro straps here which add to the solidity of the bag so you can undo them so the bag will pull down a little bit further or if you want the bag to sit sort of let me just show you this so if you undo them you know your bag will flop down a little bit further but if you want it to be held up at a certain angle you can clip those together and the bag won't go any further than that so you've got some holders there and that is echoed on the front actually of the same on the front so there you have it guys the velocity rogue 4.5 backpack really is a nice one isn't it with the uni light on the front as well really is a really nice backpack now with this with velocity as well when you buy it you register it and you get a three-year warranty on this bag as well um obviously that doesn't cover abuse you know if you're uh you know you're doing really stupid things of it completely overfilling it and you ruin the zips obviously that's not counted that's not that's not looked for but if the bag fails in any way you know something happens which you wouldn't expect to the bag and it breaks if the bag fails you've got velocities peace of mind three-year warranty on this and this bag on the velocity website at the moment is going for 160 pounds which i think is a pretty good deal to be honest um it's you know it's a heck of a bag last thing to show you is if we tip it over it's got this big thick base rivets 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 all again um i've been using this to excuse the scratches as i say that's been on many a floors now you've got the rogue at the bottom see all nice and solid and it's thick as well okay so if you stick that in a puddle by mistake or you've got something manky on the floor or horrible you can just wipe it clean okay so what makes me what i feel mostly about this bag is I feel like it's been designed with engineers in mind, okay? There's so many things which you find after using this bag, and I was going to um, review it straight away, but I've been on call and stuff a lot recently, and I haven't had much chance. But you know what? I'm really glad I didn't now, because now I've used it a bit, I can actually point out to you some of the stuff on it that's actually really, really useful, and stuff I've realised that has been really well thought out, you know, when I've been using it and, and found these things. So... Let's get some tools in it, guys, and we'll just show you what it's like with some tools in. Right, guys, so here's the bag fully loaded out, okay? I'll show you how I put it together. So the pocket at the front, I haven't really used it for its intended purpose, um, and this is by my service and sort of correctives bag in here. But again, these do need keeping safe, you know, and they need to be protected. I've got fuses, you know, I've got resistors, um, in here I've got crimps and stuff, just odd bits of screws and fixings and things. Now you might think that's a silly pocket to put screws and fixings, but you know what? I'm pretty confident that these, I don't think these are going to break at all. As long as I don't put big long screws in it, obviously, that's a bit silly, but I really don't think these are going to break. So I am confident with that. So that's the front pocket. Right, to these, let's open our little fid locks again, because you know what? These are actually fun to open, that's what's good about these. There we go. In here, I just keep now the way the the elastic goes here. This is um, perfectly little kit lace to keep your hand gel actually. So I just have a bottle of hand gel in there, and I just keep again some smaller fuses for like CCTV and stuff in there. You could put something in these, I suppose, but I haven't found anything to put in yet. I don't want to super overload the bag. That's the whole point of this bag. I just want to keep it reasonable. At the moment, the way I've got it, the bag weighs about eleven k. Now that might sound like a reasonable amount, but you know that's that's not actually that much. It's it's pretty difficult to keep a bag light, as anyone will know. They are they are difficult to keep light, so this is quite good. Uh, on the side here, keep me a little tracer pencil, 
in there. Um, I've got a brush. This is just for dusting off panels and CCTV cameras and monitors and stuff. Got me my working saw there, and I've got my spare uh, leads for my pencil. Um, don't keep anything in that D-ring just there. Um, uh, other side here then I keep now this I've moved on to the outside because I prefer this on the outside not the inside not sure why I just do at the moment um, it's not really I will say those clips are designed for the smaller d-ring inside not the bigger d-ring but they do work so I'm gonna keep that on there and then I've got my little carabiner and that's all my fire keys and everything I keep on there okay for panels and stuff now the interesting part then Inside, now you can see my zips undo nice and easily. If my zips aren't undoing easily, or they force in, or they bend in our shape, then I've got too much in there. But as you can see, you can keep a fair bit in there. Now I was saying, you've got the space at the bottom here, so I take up that space at the bottom, keeping my um, my pliers and cutters and stuff in there. I keep my tool check plus there, and I keep a crimpers there as well, because I do need them quite a lot. So I keep all my screwdrivers along here. There's a plethora of them. You can see they all fit in nicely. I've got my tick tester. Got a couple of the uh, jokers there, got my pliers wrench, and I got my um, my multi-bit screwdriver, knife, got my uh, Nipex uh, strippers there, um, little uh, Nipex sort of, um, they're super nips, I use them for cutting like cable ties and stuff, little dumpy screwdriver and a scissors, and I got a little Larry in there, okay, so I've got all that in there. Um, this I keep all my company stickers in because when I'm doing servicing I have to stick up all the panels so I've got everything I need in there nicely which is quite cool but you can see guys you can keep quite neatly and very organized um, quite a few tools in there now, I'll just show you this I, I mean for example I keep very big pliers and these are 225 5 mil pliers and it all just comes out you know nice and easy all goes back in nice and easy no problems nothing is difficult to get out of this bag and I've still got a little bit of room left here um, so yeah, that's, that's 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 how I keep the front, and I'm determined that I'm not going to just overfill it. Um, and what I like about my little Larry here is, if it's dark, I can just uh, shed the light on all my tools, so I can see what's in there. So that's cool. Right. So that's the front of the bag. So guys, moving on to the back of the bag then. So here we go. Show you what's in the back. Um, and this is one thing I do really like about this bag. It's got these two sections, so I can separate things off. So. This is what I wanted this big pocket for. This is what was really quite important to me. And this is to keep my big CCTV tester in. Okay, so when I'm servicing, a lot of the times I'll come across um, a fault and, you know, this will be useful to plug in a CCTV tester. In my new role, I'm doing a lot, lot more CCTV. And I do find it needful, really, to just put the CCTV tester in my bag. And that's what I was on about. This is really useful, this stretchy um this stretchy strap here because it only goes to the end naturally but you can just stretch it across lock it in holds it in nice and solid haven't found anything to put in these yet um i don't need to put anything in those so i'm not going to fill them up for the sake of it and add more weight um in here then i've got my multimeter i've got my battery tester in here i've got my uh little laser distance measuring tool perfect for that ideal size keeps it a bit protected as well um then down there i've got my bat my plug for the cctv tester this um, is full of all the leads and things I need for my CCTV tester for all different types of testing, all different kinds of batteries, um, all, sorry, all different types of cameras, should I say. So I just keep all that in there. So that's all very useful. So you can see in this bag, you can keep quite an array of stuff, can't you? And, you know, I do, I do love the organization of it. It makes you faster. It makes you more productive. It makes you more organized, okay? So I really like that about the bag. Okay. Um, one thing as a side note, this is another thing by Velocity Pro Gear I use quite a lot. Um, they haven't sent me this. I've used this for years. Um, is their tool organizer here? And I'm just going to bring this up because I'm talking about how, you know, they they think of the engineer and what's, what's practical for the engineer, you know? And this is another example. So say I wanted to do some CCTV work. I have to change some ends. Some RJ45s there. I can just unclip this box, you know. Shove it in my bag there, take it with me, done. Okay, and you know, I don't have to carry this whole thing with me just for the sake of that, like you do with most tool organizers. And if you accidentally leave it open and you drop it, your tools, your screws aren't gonna go everywhere because that's the worst thing in the world when that happens. Okay, so that's that. So that's Velocity Pro Gear as well. So you can just see though, it's not just this bag, they do think about the engineer when they do these things. I'm sorry this video has been so long. 
but um, I just wanted to share these things with you. Now, one more thing I've got to say, a uh, small disclaimer here, okay? So I contacted Velocity and asked them if they'd send me one of their bags. I said they let me choose it. I said to them, look, I'm going to be honest, though, in my review. They said, you know what? We stand by our product. Knock yourself out. Say whatever you want, okay? So, you know, they, I'm not being paid to do this or anything. Yes, they've given me, they've gifted me the bag, which is uh, really nice of them. But I'm not being paid to do it. There's been no promise of anything else being sent out to me. You know, um, you know, Velocity loved this video and they wanted to do that wonderful, but that is not a conversation that's taken place. So you can tell I am going to tell the truth about this bag. Okay, I've got nothing to lose. They've already gifted me the bag. I've got nothing to lose really. Okay, so this is genuinely, and I mean genuinely, a really, really well built really well thought out really really useful bag and you know if they hadn't gifted this to me i'd be happy to pay the price for it so here it is guys the velocity rogue 4.5 uh backpack fantastic little bag and perfect for me guys thank you to everyone who's liked and subscribed to the channel as always please um give a like and subscribe hit the bell icon so you don't miss any more content and once i've used this for a little while i'm going to give you my um my opinions on the bag how it's held up how it's done okay i got a feeling it's going to be pretty good um and i'll use it for a few months and then i'll, I'll let you know how it's holding up okay well guys thanks very much for listening uh thank you once again to tony from velocity pro gear for sending me this lovely lovely bag really really appreciate it and i will catch you guys on the next video night night